guys. Welcome back to Seat Story Cup. Going to be Crip, Artosis, and Ecop here. Uh, we're going to be doing the winner match of this group. Yep. And uh, it's going to be Lothar going up against Hyped, of course. Now, the loser match, because we're a little bit behind on time, is actually on the B stream. So if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and do so. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get started, we are actually going to take a look at the web page that you should be on right now. So let's go what, ahead and jump over to this PC. There's the web page. I love this screen that we have it on. I think that they were just fantastic. Uh, but go down here and check out Donate. You go over to Donate. And of course, you can donate 50% of all donations go towards the prize pool. So uh, Tice will really thank you for any donations that you put up here. Wow. Yeah, that's right. And you can leave a message. And some, Well, I'll read some of these. Oh, the first one's great. Great show. That's a that's thank you. I don't think those are the ones really people care to hear. Love you, Artosis and definitely, Frodan, but you the most, Dad. Force and boys. Kitty, that's a Kitty fantastic. Has one. A good one. Who? What? Kitty Kitty Bre Bre yeah. <laughs> Bridge, always hungry. He's <laughs> crazy. Sriracha. Dude, I wish they had. They don't have sriracha oh, in Germany, man. They had, like never heard of it. <laughs> Just wondering if Artisus will laugh about this username. Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> he did, indeed. Great tournament, I agree. Do you think you can read one of the ones in German? Like, what about that, yeah. uh, that one at the I bottom? Warum geht this one here? Yeah. Warum geht zahlen, wenn ich auch das Geld an euch you actually geben. speak German. So yeah, I was going to I was gonna get Artosis to maybe read that yeah. one. But that's all right. Maybe the next one. Our Artosis will read the next German donation. All right, all right. Okay, I'll do that. Someone and and go you and guys can just, we'll, uh, like, pretend German. Like, if it looks German, he'll read it. I'll read it. Yeah, that's the deal. And now they'll probably say something very bad, and this is probably not a good <laughs> idea to do. <laughs> wow, you, people idea. are undressing from there. Oh, what? I don't... You're actually, like, not very festive at all, Crip, I have to say. You're not very oh, festive. Oh, the double you sombrero. It? You're not very festive, bro. All right. <laughs> Well. Gotta show some national pride, Crip. Come on, <laughs> representing Mexico. Uh, yeah. So, so, all right. Hyped versus Lothar. Mm -hmm. Who wins at E Cop? Hyped. Uh, I mean Lothar. I would say hyped. I mean hyped. hyped. I mean he's obviously the favorite going into uh, Lothar. Kind of has been down talked by many players uh, as like a bad player basically. But uh, but did you see him demolish for it earlier? Well, what does that tell us about Fro then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots. I can't wait till you play your ducky. matches I, I, tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait till, to hear the shots from Pro when it, that Proden has against me. But yeah. yeah, when he starts <laughs> commentating tomorrow, you're all done now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would I would lean towards hype to winning this. No, uh, I mean, Lothar had some decent results in tournaments recently as well. Uh, yeah. In in uh, one of the recent Kingwin for charity events, um, he actually got second place. Uh, just lost in nice. finals to Life Coach, uh, who's obviously a pretty strong opponent. Yeah, yeah. Lothar definitely a decent player for sure. All right, but so let's see if he can match up uh, to the challenge that is hype. Well, hype is going to be playing Druid in our first match against Warlock from Lothar. I think what's really important is he's playing the Wild Growth variation of Druid. <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah. Because you know that there's some Druid decks that don't play Wild Growth right now. No, they're the ones that just play it later on, and it doesn't really make any difference. Oh, and then there's okay. the Druids that play it on turn one or two, and it makes. All the difference. Yeah, that's definitely that is a, a subclass of Druid yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, but actually, in his last match, he played Druid, and it was the other variety. So mm. I didn't know he switched in between. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. I wonder but why both players are timing out without actually because a they're tryhards. That's why. That's the real actual answer. Yeah, that's true. I like mulliganing in like two seconds. I mean, we heard uh, from Blizzard they're actually planning on fixing this, as, as far as I know. Right? I thought they were fixing this patch, what but I, I checked and they did wait, not. Wait, wait, what are they doing? They're, they're making they're it so you can't see how many cards your opponent mulligans. Oh, okay. So people can actually mulligan with reasonable. Yeah, they don't have to be worried about it. Wait, no, actually, I like being able to see how many cards they mulligan. I like that. Job's done. Yeah, I like that too, but uh, at the same time, we get full duration mulligans with tryhards. And that That's basically true. includes every tournament match ever. Well, That's do you guys remember back in the, the fight night days when we would watch uh, like Trump against Monk and stuff? And like, and like the 47 like, minute oh, turn with yeah. Miss Lethal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't remind me of that. <laughs> the good old days, guys. The good old days. I was falling asleep in my chair. Mm. That was a strategy. You were, you were yeah. getting hustled. <laughs> I 
certainly was. That's right. That's right. My greeting. All right. So, anyways, kind of a a nice start here, obviously for hyped that wild growth. Yeah, I think it's a nice start from the druid here with a turn for Tharson. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Looks like it's just a very uh, standard looking. That's no, a demon lock. Uh, that's not that standard looking because demon lock doesn't actually run molten giant. So oh, it's, yeah, it's a yeah, demon right, hand right. lock. I didn't see the, which is actually the void. really far from standard, I believe. I don't think we've seen this in like months. Thank you, Crip. <laughs> ah, we've seen it. We've seen it recently as well. But it's like come falling in and out of favor of players. Some mm. player like some players like the uh, standard hand lock. Some players like to mix in the void colors with Morgana. It's just preference, I guess. Yeah. I generally don't prefer hand lock at all. Just play regular demon lock. Yeah, I think demon lock is really fun, especially now with Bane of Doom. Yeah. Yeah, Bane, I love that we're uh, seeing Bane of Doom right it, now. Isn't it called like Stormpike Malganus? <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, Stormpike's a little better because Stormpike can uh, actually get results when you hit a minion with full health and doesn't kill it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It, it can be a big difference, man. Better don't, under don't underestimate that Stormpike commando. I mean, I don't know. You just don't know until you try. Maybe you should just take all those Bane of Dooms for a few games, put in some Stormpikes, <laughs> see the real difference. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, here do you use Hellfire or do you go with Mortal Coil? I like Hellfire because that shade's gonna get out of control. I like it too. Like you don't have a Shadow Flame, and when you get a Shadow Flame, you might have to sack a big ass creature that you wouldn't otherwise want yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get rid of all the potential damage that the minions can put out. Plus, you have Molten Giant. Hellfire is just fine. It's like, yeah, we'll just speed that up a little bit. Sick. Well, Tarzan did his work, anyways. I mean, that's a pretty good set of spells that he is lower, cheaper. Yeah, that is true. Like a Jury Hero Power kill a dragon. Good. Yeah, the hero power or <laughs> I like I like the hero power. I think if you uh, drew innervate, you might do something. No, you wouldn't. Nah, never mind. Yeah, what would you do with innervate grip? Wrath for one, keep the face. <laughs> <laughs> Real damage. That's pretty awesome. I love it. Whoa. Okay, this is more what I thought this tournament would be like. We've been seeing a lot of people so far today draw Tarzan kind of late. But here, this is what I was thinking, you know, like turn five and turn six Tarzan yeah, in the game. Yeah, this is where it gets really insane when yeah. you have so many cards as hand lock. God, look at that. That is just cray. And hand lock relies... He has combo next turn, by the way. Wow. What? I don't know if you guys are aware of what's going on here. That's, that's going to be a lot of surprise damage. Oh god, so look at this. Therefore yep. he's definitely gonna charge up the druid of the claw, right? Yeah. How do you even stop no, that with his hand? Like, <laughs> you just look at Lothar's hand for a second. Yeah, no, that's... You have to draw really well, really fast. Oh, there you go. Oh, Bam! Sunbeam yeah, protector. Right. But does Lothar actually expect the combo? I mean... Uh, as soon as you see Tarzan, you have know. to consider that druid's gonna kill you way earlier. And you also have to consider the cards being drawn. Like, oft sometimes you just have to think your opponent just doesn't have it. Yeah. Often enough, players just run one force of nature as well. I, I think Lothar will not taunt here. I think Lothar has lost the first game already. You don't think he'll taunt? No. I think he's going to play Ancient Watcher and Void Caller and taunt him. I think that's a really safe play. But if you do that and your opponent like can't combo you next turn, you kind of like put yourself really behind. Where if you Doctor Boom, like you start actually putting pressure back. Yeah, exactly. That's, it's just a play you have to make in order to get back on the board. Yeah. Just playing defense all the time doesn't favor your board position. But it favors your life total. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like sometimes you just have to play like your opponent doesn't have it. And yeah. with 19 cards still in the deck, you're, it's very, it's actually fairly likely that your opponent yeah. might just not have it. There you go. Right. Game over. He goes for it. The one time Dr. Broom is not that overpowered when you play yeah, him and die not. instantly. Yeah. Yeah. I think Blizzard needs to change this card. That's the war it's just goal not effect. good enough. Dr. Boom? Yeah, maybe we can give the Boombots a charge or something. <laughs> the Boombots basically have charge, oh, just to be fair. No. Those Boombots, oh, the, the turn they come out, they end up killing a lot of stuff quite often. Yeah. Yeah, giving things charge is my favorite option of stopping cards. I, th I thought you're. Uh, I heard you're the big fan of um, putting 
quick into every minion, right? Quick? Mm -hmm. Like quick shredder. Oh, yeah. Whatever what? you don't have It's like quick hand. shot? Just quick, put quick shredder. If it's the last card in your hand, draw a card. Yeah. Quick shredder, quick fireball. Yeah. Oh, so we should do that with all cards. All the saying. cards. Well, that's that's how you develop hunter cards. That's how you design them. You just take a card that's already there and you add the draw mechanic. <laughs> Sick. That's quick kill good. command. I want that. <laughs> Please. I think that would really make well, the game healthy. One card that might be good is quick boom. Oh. Like Dr. Boom? Quick Boom? Yeah. Dr. Quick Boom. <laughs> Not bad. I think so. And make him a 6-7 so BGH can't kill him. That's so pesky. <laughs> that's so pesky. And that's, the, that's not fair. Like, attack why is so you valuable. Like, you, have to give, you have to give him, like, two health for that. It has to be a 6-9 for 7 with two boom bots for him to really, like, hit the balance. Those are pretty good stats. Nine? Yeah. Pretty good stats. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, at 6-7, he just dies to War Golem for free. That's unacceptable. A <laughs> War Golem! <laughs> Oh, man, I thought you were going to say, like, Grawl or whatever he's called. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Gruul just outclasses Gruul, them man. both. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty <laughs> sick card. Have you ever seen Gruul, like, 20 turns after he's played? You just can't deal with him. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> yeah. And that happens, like, every third ladder game to me, <laughs> yeah. too. Like, a turn 20 Gruul. Mm -hmm. He's so big at that point, too. He's yeah. like a 27, 27 There's basically stuff. nothing you could do. And the thing is, they're waiting to get 30 so they can just kill me. That's why I have to start playing Warrior, mm -hmm. so I can be above that, and the yeah. girl takes even longer. Yeah. So they fatigue out while we wait for the girl to be big enough to kill me. Because that's how many turns it takes. I think girl might actually be pretty cool if he, like, um, used, like, an... Uh like, a different formula. Like, plus one, then plus two, then plus three, then plus four. Oh, okay. Oh wow! Because in World of Warcraft, the the incremental differences were so huge, because you, you it would be the point where you get like one shotted, mm -hmm. but like plus one every turn is not really that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Oh God! Look at Lothar's picture. <laughs> uh, he was holding a big weight. You guys missed it. Oh. Watch next time. Oh, Blinktron is in this deck. Sick. Yeah, it's a mech. It. I thank you, Blinktron. I never would have guessed that that would be a mech. Are you sure it's not a beast? Let me read. let me get my glasses out. Oh yeah, you know you're right, Mac. It's not a beast. You're just being cruel, man. <laughs> yeah, we were having a lot of fun doing those uh, pre-game pictures yeah. uh, of, the, of the like the profile pics. Um, and uh, in the match, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when Lothar played against Froden, Lothar had like this big weight, and Froden just took like one of those smaller ones. <laughs> were, like, <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I didn't <laughs> notice. I'm actually sitting in the middle now, so I can actually see that monitor. Oh, man. Oh, he kept Blast Mage. Mm. What do you guys think about the Blast Mage keep? Yeah, the Blast Mage keep is worth it, especially with those... Uh, with, with the coin. With, yeah, with those amount of mechs uh, that you have in your hand already. Yeah, most mechs just die to Hellfire. Blast Mage is just, uh, like, a lot of damage. Yeah. And if they have to health on Blast Mage on the board, you just kind of die do. real fast. I've seen people like Life Coach already keeping Blast Mage even without having other mechs in your hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, I, I mean, if I, you... I, you, I pre personally you wouldn't do that. I think it's too risky, but sometimes it's just a risky I've had way too many games where I have two Blast Mages in my opening hand, and like this guy who dies before it actually helps. Yeah, the Blast Mage is such an important card that really swings the momentum and in the favor of the mech mage most of the time and mech mage in general is just the type of aggressive deck that really depends on the on the good curve out where you have to have a good curve and the optimal start mm. in order to like snowball the game out of control do you like mad scientist here or the, the, the chugga chugga i think that I think well, like the chugga we chugga. can tell the chugga chugga is better but he kind of baited him by not Mortal what coiling. So, like for instance, the next the next turn just can't. He's gonna have to go like pilot shredder instead of blast major to get yeah. down because this it was like kind of a. I don't know that Lothar meant for it to work out this way, but I think that hypes just sat there and thought he's like, okay, he probably doesn't have mortal coil, so you know I don't need to play another mech. I'll just have a mech next turn. I think it's gonna get hellfired. What is Shredder uh, Scientist? Oh, yeah, definitely could. Oh! No, maybe not with Shadowfin now. Oh, Blinktron. I love it. I wonder. 
Oh, we have the German message for you to read, Artis. Yes, indeed. And it's a good one. Zaze donated $5.33. This is a tongue twister. Fischer's Fritz fished Frische, 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 fished Fischer's Fritz. What does that mean, Ecop? Spot on. It's like uh, fish, Fischer's, um, so Fisherman's Fritz is like a name. F is fishing fresh fish. Fresh fish uh, is fishing Fischer's Fritz. What's Fritz? Fritz name. is a name. Okay. And, and Fischer, Fisherman's Fritz, yeah. Fritz is probably like Joe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it's your name Fritz? No. Uh, okay. That's all right. I knew your name. Your name is Jan. No, it's <laughs> Damn it, Artosis. <laughs> Why you do this? I think it. I think the A is, is the A sound. I think it's Jane. Jane? That's even oh, worse. Oh, Jane, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jane Ecop Paley's. Like Calamity Jane? No, like Jane, you know, the, the wife of Tarzan. Mm. Oh. The new greatest card in Hearthstone. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, nice reversing switch here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Actually, doesn't go Tinkertown with this. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Yeah, I thought he's he... He's going to go uh, straight into that Hellfire, it seems. Yeah. He's running straight into it. He's <laughs> he's quite brave. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of a... Yeah, he may have realized the misplay there. Because uh, so. he kind of hesitated it right after. Yeah. He's like, oh, damn, I forgot to play against Hellfire. Oh, man. Lothar has got to be happy about this. I'm also wondering the positioning. Don't you think the Snow Chugger should be on the side of the Mech Warper? Because that's the most likely target to die next yes, to the wolf. Yes, yes, absolutely agreed. Wow, what a devastating turn. Yeah, and I like how he top decked it and used that one. Oh, because yeah. that could actually Something lure more minions yeah. out that he can Hellfire. That is true. Yeah. It's a good move by Lothar. But still hyped, uh, being the aggressor here, having the initiative to play the first minions once again, and uh, yeah, Lothar there's so still much on damage the there. Yeah. Can he play something meaningful and taunt it? That's really the question. So well, nothing really meaningful. Like he can put out the ancient watcher or something. I oh, think like Tarzan thing? might be a, a decent move because he has plenty I, of life gain. I think so too. Um, but I'm wondering, like, we've seen at least two void callers, but no other demons yet. Well, maybe this is Handlock with Void Callers, because your opponent will play around the Void so Callers. They're basically the Laughing Sisters. Oh, okay. he won't you just draw. Them. You just draw so many cards right? in general as Warlock, yeah. as, and especially Handlock, um, that eventually you'll just get to the point where you will be able to taunt up your Void Callers, and then you will get like a Directus or Morganis, or some people also play Dread Infernal, I guess. One yeah. of those you will get to play for sure. I wonder. Hmm. You just have to be patient. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He has a secret. I don't even know what we're talking about here. That's why this is such a pain. Maybe oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. can't play Tarzan. There you he go. That's a replay. Yeah, that yeah. is... Like, Handlock uh, usually doesn't struggle at all against Morality. There are so many minions that Handlock has, like Iron Man, yeah. like Ancient Watcher, uh, even at the Keelbot, that just that you don't care about giving your opponent. Yeah. Now, that was, that was actually really good by Lothar there. We just weren't paying attention. I think it's bling reading. time. Is it? Gorhal time? Oh, man. Oh, actually, what's the best? What would be the best here? Gladiators. Not that. No, that's fine. Fourth oh, actually, face. yeah, with nothing out. No, that, is not, that is not that bad. Is that gold? Every golden, every yeah. card from Bling Strong is golden. Oh, yeah. really? He, okay. He truly blings out the players. Yeah. And wait, wait, wait. Let's see. That's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, Perdition's Blade. He didn't even get the combo off that. Oh, oh boy. Are there any other 2 2s bes besides Perditions and Gleave Zuka? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, don't think no. So. Yeah, the 2 2 is the thing you get off Arathi Weaponsmith. Oh, he didn't attack the Warlock. So I just mi I, I missed that. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. yeah, Molten Giant, the fear is real. But little does he know, Lothar does not have any Molten Giants in his hand. <laughs> I mean, I think with any other weapon, I would have agreed with the play. But that Ogre Wormhole is never hitting face again. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna A giant's going to come out, and he's going to do something very bad with that. Yeah. What do you think, Ecop? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that even if you hit the minions though with the Ogre Wall Wall, you don't really care that much about it because uh, you, you have a lot of health and you ha kind of have to deal with those minions at some point anyway. Mm. Out of time. That is a big hand there. Belcher boys. I like I like. Oh no, man, play Tarzan. Why do you need Belcher? It's only nine on board. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we Yeah, Lothar really wants to dig deeper for those Molten Giants and also some demons maybe for the Void Caller. I think we're gonna see that Blast Mage here. Actually, we're gonna see the attack first, I think. Mm. Yeah, I like the attack wonder. first. Sick Cogmaster top deck, guys. Yeah, that's, this is the painful thing about Mech Mage. It really relies on the early game, uh, because in the late game you will just have scenarios where you just draw useless cards. All the two, all the one through three drops are pretty much worthless in the late game. Yeah. I think Tinker Master is actually quite strong in late game still. Tinker Town Technician. Yeah, that's what I meant. So. Yeah. Like a team master. Yeah, you mean spare parts. Yeah, I guess he's okay against this. Yeah, the spare parts he provides can also be really annoying as well. <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy. Oh, okay. It's okay. Stealth? I go stealth. Yeah, I mean, you could stealth the 5 4. Oh, we cow. have a board clear. Hellfire. Yeah, but it, it's it's a weapon hit or a dark bomb with Hellfire. Both of which are really crazy yeah. right now. Yeah. Well, he can set up a taunt as well, I guess. Mm -hmm. But he's got to be really careful because that axe can actually go through taunts. Actually, actually we could just see Healbot into dark bomb. The Healbot can get you out of range Killed once back. again and yeah. it also the yeah, dark it also brings down the cogmaster because yeah. the mech is gone now that's actually quite good yeah, and that'll bring you out of range anything really mm -hmm. do you? Oh, I think I would heal by here right? oh it seems like Lothar wants to taunt up the ancient watcher instead okay. which is fine too I guess Just considering he uh, has more than one taunt giver my seal for our Thing is, like a fireball here might kill him. Because again, that axe can go through this stuff. Yeah. Well, there's no fireball. Yeah. And uh, I think Lothar's going to get a chance to turtle up here next turn. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. can't even play his hand. This, this is really bad for Hype. Yeah, what Hype cannot do? go for the uh, both minions and hero power. He's missing one mana for that. That would be the optimal play here. So I'm pretty sure he's just gonna play minions and choose to not attack maybe. You don't think he'll clear this 5-6? It, no, there's no point of doing it now really. If there was a Shadow Flame, Lothar would have played it last turn. I would assume. Yeah, well, he does clear it. I don't see a reason to use the axe right now. Maybe there's going to be more creatures next turn. Hmm. That's a nice one. Yeah. Is there something better though? I mean, it, it's I mean, Lothar now knows that yeah. Hype just doesn't have any sort of fireball. Otherwise, he would have just probably gone for the lethal. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is why he can play a little bit more risky now, I not wonder. playing around top deck fireballs. I think is set yeah, up the, the thing is, is it's, it's not giant. even just fireball. Like you might be dead to the board. 
Like, you still have to do something here. Yeah, yeah, like, he should be setting up a taunt for sure with the Sun Fury, like, maybe the the Mountain Giant. Yeah. And the Sun Fury. I wonder. Seems very reasonable. I mean, that's two taunts. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And your opponent has one card in hand, and, I mean, you don't know what it is, but it it's something that costs, like, more than one man. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's obvious it's not direct damage. It seems like you have... Why is he yeah, opting for white color. white color into heal bot, I would say? Huh. That's a really bad position to play here. Yeah, but it makes the Mountain Giant go kind of out of the range, you know? Well, next turn it's still going to be possible to play Mountain Giant into Sun Fury as well. Yeah, I guess you are right about that. I wonder... Yeah, yeah. Something needs tinkering? Four one taunt time. <laughs> yeah, finally that ancient watcher can <laughs> be of some use. It's like the only scenario where it actually matters that Mech Mage gets an ancient watcher with more entity. I wonder. I wanted to kill a void call and not bring up anything. <laughs> that would be, that'd be very the biggest brave. surprise. Oh, you mean with the weapon, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like if he trades into that void call right now, that's really weird. Here we go, here we go, here Oh almost. Yeah, Hype is just pushing further, fur further in for some more face damage, but uh, thanks to the heal bot, Losar is kind of out of range of anything that Hype yeah. can do right now. The thing is, you might see a Hellfire, but he might be put back into that range. Ooh, and he's out again. Oh, wow. But wait. Well, you can use his weapon, then play Draxus, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, he can kill off the 4-4 with the heal bot and his current weapon, and then Jaraxxus, and then he gets another attack, actually. Yeah. He can attack twice his turn as a Warlock. No, that's, that's well, actually you can't. You can't, right? Yes, you can. You that, can do that? That works like yeah, that? Yeah, that's the first time I've actually seen that in, in a game that wasn't like a trolled and highlight. Yeah, because, okay. because Jaraxxus is, is a different not, I had no idea not your you hero. That. Yeah. yeah. That's good enough. Different hero altogether. Yeah. So and then if he had major domo, no, and then another weapon like, somehow. I think I legit. I think the best play is to uh, attack. No, it's certainly not mole giant. I think it's. I think it's attack with the weapon, then the heal bot into the four four, then you get Jaraxxus, the void call into the harvest golem, and the Jaraxxus weapon into the remainder. Agreed. I think I like that play, but well, I mean, he can play a taunt here. What? Oh, I actually really didn't expect that at all. Oh, the super taunts. Yeah, I guess I guess that is true. He forfeits a little bit of heal on that, but I guess that's okay because okay. you are never getting that is through perfect. that. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. Because mm. now he has to like top deck so much damage, it's insane. Just another fireball. Hey, there's a fireball. Also, besides the heal from the Jaraxxus wouldn't even have mattered that much. There would there wouldn't be a taunt for Lothar, and then the pilot Treader would smash in for another four damage. Mm. So this play was actually very fine. I yeah. wonder. Yeah, right. Ah, yeah, that's not it. Do you like that fireball? I think he had to. It's just too much damage. Yeah, right now, right now, hyped is the one under, under pressure with a mountain giant on the board, and now with Doctor Boom being drawn, that's eventually gotta put the nail into the coffin of the mech mate. No, there's nothing he can draw from here. Even Antonite does zero. Like, actually zero. Mm. I just go to face here. How well has Mechbitch been performing throughout the day? What do you guys Quite think? Quite well. Yeah, it's been doing very well. It it's a, it's a deck that can just like, beat stuff if it draws well. Yeah. Like, we, we've seen just decks that just can't win. So and they just tanks the set. And Mechbitch just isn't that. Yeah. Mechmage always is like in a position where he can win. Yeah, I guess that's true. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't seem like overpowered or anything. It's a fair deck for sure. Yeah, yeah fair. It seems that way. Fair is probably the best best rating. Alright, well it that evens feel it up. Fair, guys. <laughs> Sometimes it actually doesn't feel fair. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. Yeah, if you get the mech warp op uh, broken mech warp opening yeah. with yeah. the coin as well. Yeah. That shaman mech warp opening. Oh my god. That was <laughs> insane. All right. So uh, it is now one one. What are we going to see next? Oh, that's not them. Oh, it looks like uh, the other match has finished up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Put in, unfortunately, losing uh, one to three. Did pick yep. up a a game though, so that's cool. But this means, yeah. uh, you know what this means, right? He we're gets to commentate tomorrow. Exactly. We're going to see a lot of Proton commentating. That's right. Oh, let's oh, see if we can sure. get that reset. Oops. All right, we're going to be getting to this next game quite quickly here, guys. Mage, mage. All right, Lothar. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing the kind of more expensive mech mage. I think the more expensive mech mage is going to do quite well if the openers are reasonably the same. Yeah. Especially when piloted Sky Golem. Oh, that was an Anoyatron into an Anoyatron, wasn't it? Uh, no, no, you think that no, was no, the no. bug? That was, that was the buggy thing. Okay. Because it came back way quicker than the other card that's... Do you, do you like the Anoyatron keep? Uh, I think it's, like, okay. Yeah. Because if you play Cogmaster in Anoyatron, that's, like... It's going to take him a while to get to Cogmaster if he doesn't have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a Frost Nova or whatever. Frost Bolt. Well, if he doesn't have a, you know, if he doesn't have a smite, yeah, holy smite or whatever. If he doesn't have power, wait, what is it? Shadow word. Oh man, hype gets screwed immediately. Holy Ew. cow! You can draw out of this though. It's possible. He has the he, he has the, the faster mage. mech mage though. I didn't really pay attention. Did he keep the blast mage? Yes, he kept clockwork blast mage and drew Antonidas fireball. Oh wow. That's devastating. Yeah. Yeah, seven drops are not what you want in your opening hand, that's for what sure. To do. Especially if you don't what have a coin. Do. Agreed. What do you do here? You pretend like you're going to get overrun, so you just play Clockwork Gnome, I think. Yeah, I think Clockwork Gnome is pretty good here. Because even if he goes like mm. ping. It's okay, because you can go Anoyatron, Cogmaster at the coin, mm. and then the next turn you can Clockwork or whatever. Yeah, in general I would say um, if both players draw kind of have the uh, same power level of in hand, um, it still favors the one with the coin, because it allows um, the player to get, on, to get ahead on the board earlier with additional minions or just a, an already bigger minion. Well, that that is perfect for hype. Cause hype gets to kill both of those. Yeah, yeah. It, according to his hand, this is pretty fantastic. What to do? What to do? It's Only interesting that both uh, decided to not go for something what? like an Anoitron, maybe. Yeah, he might have uh, thought though that this would be a much quicker opening, and that uh, he actually gained something from the frost or uh, the. Because honestly, though, fire blast being used. Or with, it's with by playing a neutron, um, Lothar would have achieved the same result, but would have lost uh, just uh, one less card. Mm. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that, guys. Pretty sure what I joined that do? match like a minute what before, got kicked out of it. So I'm not yeah. really sure why that happened. It's kind of weird right now. Yeah, maybe maybe they're just kicking out like semi inactive because of the Black Rock stuff going on. Could be. Mine hasn't been kicked out at all. Oh, yeah, mine, mine can't even get back in right now, so I'm suspecting that. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, man, that makes wow. for Lothar. Holy cow. That is the insane opening that we talked about. Yeah. That's quite a board right there. Yeah, with that kind of clunky hand that typed has, it will be hard to come back from a board state like this. Mm. However, all it takes is like one mm. one blast mage to completely wipe the board sometimes. But Lothar will not have any of that. Always denying the mechs. To not make Tinker Top. I think I could actually trade the bubble in the 2 1 for the 2 3. Wait, wait, what? Lothar? Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want the mage ability what targeting your minions. What to do? <laughs> yeah, you would never want that. <laughs> oh. What a travesty that would be. I gotta actually read the exact wording on this. Your hero power can target minions. I was sad to see that that doesn't do anything with Warrior. 
Yeah, right? Yeah, I feel like you should be able to put armor on minions with yeah. that. If you can get that guy, you deserve it. You deserve to be able to armor up minions. That's a little sad. Yeah. Samaritan with no creatures in hell. <laughs> and then he plays his own mirror entity. What a world we live in today. I actually think he might need to whirling blades. But he kind of wants to keep those whirling blades for internetus, obviously. I don't think the game is going to extend that long to the point where that's too relevant to you. I think it will, because Lothar, as we can see, uh, chooses to go for a game plan where he always uh, trades all the minions in his favor. Um, but, however, that obviously prevents a lot of damage to Hyped's face. So Hyped will uh, definitely have the time wow. necessary to get to that those later turns. Winder. Yeah, that was quite nice. And now zone mirror entity. Ouch. Cut. Ouch. It is so steamrolling. Toshly again. Didn't Hyped have Toshley in his uh, Druid as well? Huh. Toshley's a good card. Yeah, Toshley. Oops, I, Toshley I think it was, it was talked yeah. about recently how, um, like, if you compare what it to, to Boulder do. Fist, it's better what because the only thing that really has six health that's played is Druid the Claw. <laughs> Everything else just has five or less or, like, way more than six. Yeah, yeah. And seven is pretty crazy. Yeah, because anything with seven, seven attack seven. just dies to BGH immediately. Yeah, and the spare parts just have really good synergy with just about everything. I yeah, it's cool stuff. Oh man. Yeah, but there was no other option, honestly. Oh my god, the I damage is I really to, high right I now. I to give so Lothar something. And yeah, I suppose you can't just pass the turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, with that much damage, it's time to, to go. Do. There was obviously the option of just, I don't know, maybe fireballing. A mech warper? Yeah, it sucks, but uh, he knows that there is a mirror entity and maybe Hyped could draw something smaller next turn. Mm. But it obviously relies heavily mm. on the luck of the draw. Harvest Golem isn't too bad a draw, I guess. At least he can... Eh. <laughs> Never no, mind. There's, there's Fireball no, at least like... he can. No, there's none of that. Yeah. At least he can Whirling Blade that Lothar. Lothab. Mm. Lothar's Lothab. If Lothab didn't get frozen, did you actually have any way to survive to anyway? I, I think to not do. still. Uh, if the Blast true. Mage hit perfectly, yeah. yeah. One, yeah. And that will be that. And this actually puts Lothar up uh, two to one. Yeah. And let's see, that leaves Lothar with... Uh, two to one already? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's true. It's his final deck now. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wow. So, what is his final deck? I couldn't quite see it. Didn't see it either. Nope. Sorry. I think it might have been Druid. I've seen Lothar play a lot of Druid in tournaments in the past, but that's probably just because a lot of pe people just play Druid in tournaments. <laughs> yeah, Druid is a played class for sure. Yeah, I think uh, his tournament kind of favors it a bit too. So uh, A lot of people were saying that. And Raynard seemed to think so and was a little bit upset about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well... You upset that there's not enough druids in tournaments? Oh yeah, I'm really upset about uh, that. I love I like the cast when they they play their four drop on four and then their five drop on five, and then they do the combo. Don't you mean and they have seven the drop on five? Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> Don't you mean the seven drop on five? Hey, which one is hyped? <laughs> All right. Well, the game is a go. So let's get into it here. So you're going with druid? I'm going druid too. Druid. Well, yeah, I mean, Druid it was his last deck left, so yeah, I, that's... I thought we weren't sure, and now you're pulling the I totally knew it card. You oh, I told you that. But I think it was Druid that he had. <laughs> I totally knew it. Oh, it's the Wild Growth variety again. Oh, Holy sick. cow. That's the best variety right there. Keep that Shredder. Actually, uh, Hype's hand looks like it might be even faster. Oh, now he dropped the... Hmm. He's not having that happen again. That's really weird. Uh, like he's kept Blast Mage in every single match except this one, where he actually has a mech that he definitely played before it. Hmm. I don't really understand that. 
Yeah, you would think so, that especially against Druid, a uh, minion with uh, such beefy stats as Blast Nate would be pretty beneficial. Could he just be like, uh, being like, I do not want to lose another game like that? I just think, like, at this stage when, like, it's Mech Mage. He's, he's probably played more games of Mech Mage than most people have played of Hearthstone. Yeah. And I think it's just not really a point where you change up your strategy. I, I agree with that. I wonder. So it looks like he's going to suicide that 2-1. Uh, really? I, I think the mad scientist is a good candidate because you can protect your 2-1 with the taunt. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess it's true. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Like it's so much tempo. And, and yeah. yeah, you obviously want that Maroon to be on the board. Definitely. That's right. I, I your opponent's going into 5 mana. For okay. sure he's going to want to play a minion. That's killer. Ugh. Yeah, this this gives um, Lothar kind of a good swipe turn, but he doesn't what have it. Do. Yeah. Swipe would be pretty, dev pretty devastating for Hype here. What do you play? I think uh, Sludge Belcher is the, the pick here. You give him a Sludge Belcher? You gotta give him something, but... Hey, me or the other options I think this is that the much game. better than... Sludge Belcher. Well, this is this is the one where it's pretty much going to game five, right? <laughs> Not yet, no. You don't think so? Give him a Sludge Belcher, Belcher here? Slows the game down, and Hyped Hand is again like horrible. Like, direct damage is good if you're about to win with it. If you're not, it's absolute trash. Yeah, and those, doctor, and those seven drops are a long way from seeing any play still. I think we're actually going to see a fireball on the Belcher. Oh, for sure, yeah. And then he still hits for six, though, and he's still got a good board. I don't, I don't think it's for sure. I think it's debatable. The fireball on the Belcher? I don't think so. I wonder. What else are you going to do with that? Turn? Yeah, like, you want to save the Frost Bowl. The Frost Bowl's going to be more useful later on. There's not going to be, like, only Druid of the Claw would be a better target for the fireball. I think Frost Bolt there actually does almost the same thing. Well, he already showed he doesn't have swipes, so... Oh, not afraid of the mind control deck. <laughs> well, there's swipe. Yeah. Hmm. One turn too late. Yeah, it's not It's not even that good here. Yeah, not anymore. No. You shouldn't even know what you do with swipe. What do you do with swipe? You don't play it this turn, I don't think. I really? So. What else do you play? Sorison. Right. Yeah. Because if you play Tarzan, you're going to have like a sick turn coming up. He already used one fireball. So you might be able to like... I don't know. I still like the swipe. I like the swipe on the Mech Warper. Why so? It just removes so much damage off the board. Just removes three more damage that you would hmm. deal with otherwise anyway. Mm. Well, if you do it on the Sludge Belcher... You... I don't know, you have to hero power it. <laughs> If you swipe, we have to hear power anyway. I think Torison, let just take some damage, and Torison will eventually swing the game around. He does go through his crit. I don't know. This way, he just all he does is prevent, is prevent any more damage. Those three damage probably wouldn't have ended up mattering. Yeah, I. Oh, it's Blinktron. Oh boy. <laughs> Gladiator's longbow. Come on, come on. Oh my god, is that... Song of Sword. Sword of Justice versus... Yeah, Cogmaster's a wrench. wrench. Oh my. Oh, that's really cool. Wrench is like... How does that... He, wait, he comes into play to give you that weapon, and then that weapon somehow gives him that as he's coming into play? Because yeah, because... I call shenanigans. Most battle cries happen, like, before the minion comes to play. All of the battle cries. No. Yes. No. Uh, Dr. Booms doesn't. Yes. No. Uh, the boom bots are summoned after him, and I know that because of how Vanish returns him back to the hand. The boom bots are summoned after Dr. Boom, even though it's a battle cry. Yeah, so how does that make sense? It doesn't. It's Explain not that, Blizzard. No, but the jugglers, if you have Dr. Boom with jugglers, then the juggles from the uh, trigger on the boom bots first. Like the but then why is it when I Vanish, the Dr. Boom goes back first? Yeah, I believe that is actually the case. Yeah, it is. Actually, that's weird. 
That yeah. is really weird. And also, the the things that I'm seeing right here with Cog's Master's Wrench, going up to four and then killing the Belcher, and now, like, Five. the Sword of Justice <laughs> gave that plus. I'm like, what am I watching? <laughs> what is this game? It's typical arena plays, guys. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> I don't get to see stuff like this too often. Okay. <laughs> Even hyped thinking that's pretty funny. Yeah, hyped. Blinktron, man. But yeah, the explanation for the Blinktron was that Indeed, most almost all battle cries happen before the creature comes. It to seems play. rather subjective. Like, uh, why is why is uh, Doctor Boom one way, and then uh, you know the like Blinktron doing it this way? I'd most are like Blinktron. There's a few that are weird, and that's not one of them. I'd say. I feel like that needs to be fixed. Then there needs to be like a hard and set rule for that because sometimes you hit in a situation like that and you haven't seen it before, and if you don't have rules to pull up, you're like, well, sometimes it's this way, and think, sometimes it's that way. Yeah, I guess. You can't have stuff like that. Like sure it has to be specific. I'm, I'm pretty sure Advantage also works with other minions that put minions into play like that. Like Strangely? Yeah, like with Dragonling mechanics or... So you think it, the fault is with Vanish? Probably. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's some sort of mix-up. Whatever. It doesn't matter right now. What matters right now is this game 5. It matters Wh to me. Whoever wins this one advances oh, to the I top Oh, I think 16. the definitive test is if you have two creatures left... Uh, if you have five creatures in play, if you play Dr. Boom, if the Boom bots actually happen first, Dr. Boom would instantly die. Which he doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And everyone's done that before. Yeah. That makes sense. They definitely don't they aren't brought into play before him. So... Yep. Gotcha. Huh. And thus, Blingtron getting plus one, plus one doesn't make sense. Yep. Oh, Wild Growth Druid. Man. Where's this been all day? <laughs> it's coming out now. Yeah. Okay, so uh, actually this matchup, we saw uh, Zaleic, or no, Raynad actually having a very hard time with this, right? So, hmm. What do you think about this matchup, Ecop? Druid, uh, Rogue versus Druid. I think throughout um, history, Rogue has struggled against um, Force of yeah. Nature Druids. Hmm. Obviously, it all depends on how slow those uh, Force of Nature Druids are. Roots are built. Yeah. The faster they are, the more the rogue struggles. I think it really comes down to um, just rogues. Rogues' main problem right now is healing. They just don't have it. And druids are like, <laughs> so you're at 14 life, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they gotta play those heal bots, man. Yeah. It all, come, it all comes down to whoever has the pressure on the board. Yeah, exactly. Druid, yeah. Uh, rogue has to do things like play. Uh, or even coin out, uh, as I said, an agent on an empty board, just to apply pressure in order to win this matchup. It all comes down to whoever has the better board early on and levels from there. You have to do the coin play here, otherwise you're just so weak against Phantom Knives. Yeah. Double prep, no spells. Okay, there you go. I I leave Vile Teacher. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's that or yeah. like the worst, the worst thing I could ever imagine. <laughs> no, prep Blade Flurry, prep Cleave. What are you talking about? That's pretty sick. You'd even have a damage on this on this shade. He'd be a three-two right now. That would yeah. Be, how crazy would that be? Hype <laughs> does have a bit of that uh, heal. So maybe that 14 hit point level can be uh, dealt with. Do you think the low tap was actually a little bit preemptive? Uh, well, he's got well, the well, violet. We just, we just talked about pressure. That's that's pressure. Yeah. But there was the option of just playing as a drake in instead. Mm, yeah, but as your drake makes so you commit to like something you may not want next turn, with, and with Sylvanas in hand, you don't want to commit to anything next turn. I, I see. You. Like if you as your drake. He might just uh, require you to hero power next turn, and that would suck. It's hard to. Off, off, I mean, I think sometimes it's hard to apply a card what? like Lothab in those matchups um, when you play against a deck that relies heavily on spells, mm -hmm. like like Rogue, like Freeze Mage, for example, because uh, you need to find those crucial turns where the Rogue no would need those games. spells the most. Yeah. And I think in that stage of the game, often you just uh, will see the rogue play some minions mm. instead of spells anyway. That's pretty nice. 
I think I like to see the the Drake yeah. prep. Uh, actually, what you you can, have to you kill can the, clear the board first, though. You can clear the board with a uh, prep. Yeah. Uh, Two preps. Fan blade. prep blade flurry. Yeah. That is true. That's pretty good. I but if you want to do that, you, can't, you don't want to use your preps like that. Well, you, I don't know. Well, man. I think for sure you you're Prepared. gonna at least prep the fan. Yeah. At least. And then if you draw another fan, I would... Yeah, for sure, prep the fan. But uh, one of those preps will be required to make a sprint playable. The best draw here would be a deadly poison. It would be sick. This is the sickest deadly poison. Oh my god, you're right. That would be the sickest deadly poison. Nope. Oh, there's no. the sprint, though. Huh. Still, prep the fan. That's... And then you can sprint. Yeah. Look at that. Everything works out. He's still at 30, so who cares? Yeah, after that prep sprint. Here's the question. The thing is, with the sprint, Wait, here's, he will actually if, draw. If you draw a deadly poison here, do you still do you consider the, the blade period? Uh, you can still do that later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can actually blade period the next turn. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to sprint anyways with the prep, so you'll probably get something. Yeah, and like, All right. he's going to play minions, so that's totally going to work out. Yeah. This is actually going really well for Hype. Yeah, I actually can go. Uh, can get a pretty sick bank cleave next turn. Yeah. If you decide to go for that, as a drag path, really good right now. Wow. So much tempo gained for Lothar. Mm. And oh he has boy. a lot of pressure, especially with the Dragonos. Dragonos is such an annoying minion to deal with for the rogue. I wonder. What do you What do you play here if you're hype? All that looks terrible. Well, yeah, there is two blade first, but no buff for the weapon. But if if you prep into sprint, it has to be a deadly poison, though. Yeah, but you're drawing four cards, and there's two of them in there. That's still not that great. Hmm. It's fifty-fifty. You draw it or you don't. You're facing down a. It's not even fifty-fifty. You're, you're facing. <laughs> you're facing down ten damage on the board next turn, and eleven with the hero power. So. Look, you have a backstab in your hand too. Yeah. I think I would just do it. I would trust. Because actually, you can. Voice. There's there's various stuff that you can kind of so draw here. Many options. Like if you get mm, if it's an abyss, that's pretty good. Fine. He's You're gonna right. get it. Don't worry. He's get he's gonna get a, a deadly see. poison for sure. That's not it. That's not it. This one isn't it. But the, oh there my god, is. there it is. So sick. Yep. Oh wow. Goes for the SI7 instead. I'm actually surprised about that. Why wouldn't you just clear? Mullen <laughs> Giants. Seriously, why wouldn't you uh, clear with that, though? You have two Blade Furies. Like, your opponent would be at, like, 21 without a minion on the board. I guess you wouldn't have a minion either, but the 6-4 is better than the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. The problem is you have nothing on the board then, even, not even the weapon, and uh, it takes a while to, like, get a new weapon. You, you, at yeah. some point, you will have to use two mana again for it, and your hand is so clunky. You might not want to use spend mana for that. Huh. Ultimately, all right. Well, the next. I mean, those are all reasonable reasons, but like, do you how think do we that kill was that better? shade now? Yeah, that shade is actually very annoying. Yes, it is. And that fourth hell point is really, like, really brutal. He could. I mean, I guess you really need to clear the three three. I wouldn't mind like a swipe piloted shredder here. I wonder. I'd want a yellow rag, but like, you can't leave a minion out. Just makes the tinker oils too too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Time waits for no one. <laughs> Cop checking his mustache on the cast. Yeah. <laughs> Swipe face. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Let's imagine something here. What could be good? Hmm. Well, now this 6-4 is actually a real pain in the butt. Wait, I know. Double Blade Flurry. He might have to. Blade Flurry, weapon up, deadly poison, attack face, Blade Flurry again. Oh, wow. Do you see a better play than that? <laughs> like, right now you're dead to, like, Savage He needs roll. to use Time Rewinder and go back to last turn and do the Blade Fury. You're, you're literally dead to everything otherwise. Yeah. 
Yeah, he doesn't even have any way to draw a single card here. This is like, I think you're actually completely right. He has to do that. God, that's gross. That's like six, seven. What? <laughs> yeah, just as wow, that's bravery. That's what he has to do. That I guess you're right. Yeah. Played as you suggest, uh, doesn't do anything afterwards. Yeah, oh, that's lethal. There you go, Savage Run or Justice. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh wow, does that mean Lothar out in first place? At this, congratulations. Yeah. Do you expect that one? Well, Lothar did well at last season. Hey, didn't you crown him as as? I don't know if it was the best or the worst player. It was, uh, it was the worst. I, I did say it, but oh, that's weird. many players consider Lothar one of the worst players. Okay. So it's the but other Lothar, players. Lothar proving those players wrong. Yeah, yeah, so he played well. Okay. He definitely played well. played well here. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... Does it change it uh, if often, he did the clear we'll, that turn before against the uh, Shade? Does that actually change it? Do you guys like think? Like Hype of won if he did a Blade Flurry? Yeah, like the turn before when we were talking about oh, yeah, possibly that, clearing. I, I think that was one of those spots where Blade Flurry would have been pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, because yes, he drew said, another one. <laughs> that was no, he completely had, he useless. Had, he, had to, he had to Blade Flurries. Yeah. He yeah. had to Blade Flurries at that point. And uh, I think that uh, the SI7 wouldn't have made that much of a difference anyway. So, <laughs> nice eyebrows, Lothar. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, please. Come sit. All right. You've, you've earned part of the couch. Thank you, uh, but only this one, so I'll be looking like I'm taking a poop. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, Lothar, congrats, man. Thank first you. place in your group. You must be quite happy with that. Yes, that's the second time at Seed Story Cup when I advanced from the first phase, and yeah. I hope I will not get the same result in the second phase as last time. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see. So, Lothar, were you surprised to get such a good result in your group this early? No, I'm confident that I can win this tournament, but... Um, Hyped is one of the uh, most. That was the biggest biggest opponent in my group, and uh, I I predicted that he will play rogue and hunter in the same setup. My idea was to ban against him the hunter, and I did did I did it this way. But still, it was very tough. I I, know, I don't know if the druid call was right in this group, because uh, as you saw, I was kind of wrecked by the mech mage. It was like mm. I couldn't do anything. Like that was basically I, I couldn't I could concede just on turn four. And that's basically it would be the same outcome and we would lose less less time. Uh, but other matches were toe to toe, especially the last one. I, I was afraid of uh, big um, bl uh, blade flurry. He did have it actually. Yeah, yeah. we we really thought he should have used he it. Skipped it. Well, he had a good yeah. chance, but he he used an SI instead on that turn. Yeah, I was like. I was hoping that he, w he will go for a sprint because that basically buys me time. Mm -hmm. yeah. One turn for me is a win or lose. And uh, especially that was the, the case with the turn when I, uh, I used the Keeper instead of the Palted Shredder. When I, when I played the Keeper and swiped face instead of playing Shredder and yeah. swiping the, um, swiping the uh, Agent. Because then More on turn 9... against uh, Blade Fury, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Basically, what what's, what what will gonna happen is on I, even if he blade flurries and just gets rid of my table, he will most likely might not play a minion. Then I play Ragnaros, go eight for face. He will be at seven, and then I can draw into Force of Nature at turn ten and go swipe Force of Nature and win the game. And uh, if I would do this other other um, in the other way around with Palter Shredder and swiping the the agent, I would probably I wouldn't have the chance to win on turn ten. So, yeah. So, great foresight there yeah. from you. And, yeah, I mean, Hype played a little bit greedy with his Blade Flurries, I would say. Uh, he could mm -hmm. have cleared your Shade and, and your uh, other minion as well. He decided not to go for it, ignored the Shade, and that ended up being his downfall. So. But, man, that Warlock versus Mage game, I, I was, like, sitting on need <laughs> yeah. needles yeah. there. That was, that was yeah, a pretty you, crazy you made, you made a really cool play with the, with the double taunt. Uh, I, I thought originally there was like a, a slightly better play to Jaraxxus because mm -hmm. uh, just to heal I, the yeah, like no, no, I, I've never Jaraxxus. I've never seen the double attack before. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> thinking about you that. can attack yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. weapon, get a new character, attack again, and there was some cool plays with that. Yeah, I know, and, but and I think I was overwhelmed by the coolness. But uh, your play was very <laughs> effective and just shut out the game at that point. I had to just stop the bleeding. Yeah, uh, and that's what Jaraxxus does as the minion. You know, mm -hmm. how can the mage deal with that? And he played the uh, switch part already, so I was like, okay, he will not get second one for the Raxus, right? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, that's how that's how it works. <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely how it works. <laughs> was that, that, that you only get be... one of each spare part. Yeah. I've never seen those spare parts can turn to, turn the game around. Yeah, they yeah we, saw it, we saw it on the Twilight Red, yeah. but that was so already really. If that good. would happen to my Jorax, I would be like, oh, very sad. Yeah. 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 Right, but cool. when he, he when he has empty hand, I'm not afraid of the Antonidas anymore. So I I didn't have to play the Sylvanas on board. Yeah. So I was thinking about playing the Sylvanas just to avoid Antonidas with a one spare part. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he dished out every single card, I was pretty sure I can, I can just ignore the Sylvanas and go for other plays. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're definitely right about that. So congrats again, Lothar. Thank you would be going on to the round of 16. And that means that we have just one match left. Yeah, we're going to see who uh, ends up uh, second in the... Uh, yeah. Who, who won the other now? match? Uh, Zelay won over oh. Frodan 3-1. So. I'm sorry, but I was rooting for Frodan. Of course. I think we everyone all were. was. We all Poor were. Zelay. But... Uh, yeah. The casters right. obviously have to root for the casters, right? Yeah, certainly. We want to see yeah. him do well and prove that we aren't <laughs> bad at Hearthstone. Um, but, you know, he gets to come back and cast a lot, so that's great. And now that you're through your group, maybe you can cast some too. Yeah, I will definitely play cast with you guys tomorrow. Excellent. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and jump to a quick commercial break, guys. And when we come back, it's going to be the last match of the night. It's going to be Zelay against 